Good morning guys and welcome back. I hope you guys have had an awesome week. So today we're going to be giving the inside of the Jeep a massive deep clean. It's well overdue, the inside of the Jeep's getting muddy, getting sandy. We don't want rust to form, so we'll be giving a deep clean with the bound zone, mega snow and the frother. Alright, so the inside of our Jeep is muddy as all hell. Which isn't too bad. Um, we haven't been running carpet because I really want to give this a really good clean. Now I was running carpet, but it just kept getting dirty and I got kind of sick of deep clean the carpet all the time. We got some rubber floor mats, as most people do, but dirt and sand and salt water and everything like that just keeps getting around this area. And it's easy enough to clean, but you want to make sure you clean in the right way that you're going to protect it from rust, you're going to protect it from corrosion, all that sort of stuff. Now Jeep actually has, one of the best things I've seen is these, if we can get to it, it's got two bungs. In the floor, so all you got to do is pop those out, which is an awesome idea. Thank you, Jeep. And we're halfway done, so we've got like a lot of loose dirt and stuff in there. A lot of people, I don't know, would probably get the hose and just wash it up, and that's going to take the majority of the stuff out, but it's not really protecting it or really deep cleaning it. So, what we'll be using today is Bowden's own Mega Snow. We've used Mega Snow on the underside of the Jeep before. If you guys want to look at that video, we'll leave a little link just up in the corner there if you want to check that out. Now this is awesome for cleaning four wheel drives, easy cleaning, thick foam cuts through grime and dirt. Now this is, this is actually a specialised formula from Bowden Zone for four wheel drives to cut through dirt, salt, grime and all that sort of stuff. Now this actually has a rust and salt removal um, ingredients, ideal for four wheel drives, watercrafts and even off road caravans. So we've used this on the Jeep because uh, we take it up the beach and stuff like that to make sure it doesn't rust and we give it the best po possible clean um, to remove as much salt water as possible. So we'll be using this on the Jeep. Um, you can hook this up to a pressure washer, but because we are in a sort of tight space within inside the Jeep, what we'll be using is Bound Zone Frother. So this is just like a pump uh, system like you would use in the gardens to get weeds. There's a special cannon uh, made by Bound Zone for like the snow job and mega snow. So give it a couple pumps. It's got like a pressurized system in it as well, which is cool. And you can also change the head to give like a different frame consistency. So with this, uh, you don't need to hook it up to any water or anything like that. Um, you just need to give it a couple of pumps, spray it on, let it sit, um, and you'll see it work its way into all that dirt and crap. Um, you'll see it break down, which we'll do in a second. Uh, these are pretty cheap. I think this is about $35, and the Mega Snow is about $35 as well. I'll leave a few links down below if you guys want to check that out. But really easy. Uh, you don't really want to be using like a pressure washer because we are in a tight space, um, and you'll be getting it everywhere. So all you want to do with your frother, give it a couple pumps until it starts gaining pressure. Your one pump chump. Now all you want to do after it's uh, fully fully pumped up, you're ready to pop. And if it starts going like that, give it a few more pumps. Make sure you get into the tight corners, like in there. Alright, so you can actually see it working and breaking down all the dirt um, that's caked onto the actual wheel well of the Jeep um, and so you can see it changing colour and that's just all the dirt and grime breaking down. So what you can do to help it is just get a stiff brush and work it in. Ugh. Thank you. 
yummy. Stuff might have to go over this a couple times after we wash it out. It's pretty bad. All right, then you just want to get your hose. You can start washing it all out. Couple times to get everything out. So you can see what it was before and what it is now just after a quick scrub and wash. Then we probably left that um, mega snow soaking for, I don't know, five, five, seven minutes. Probably could leave a bit longer depending on how long that dirt and stuff's actually been in there. This is just from the uh, weekend trip, so it hasn't had time to actually soak in and heat up and actually stick. Uh, but the former kind of works the same. Might just need to leave it in a bit longer, depending on how long it's been in there for. And we're already looking so much better. Now those holes are so handy, because all that shit that was in the Jeep is now on the ground. Fantastic. Dripping out from the Jeep. Amazing. Now we just need to finish this off. Um, obviously, Try and get rid of much water, excess water, because water creates rust. So we'll go over this and towel dry it as well. I think a lot of people, people forget about this, but if you leave water in there, water creates rust, um, and rust in your Jeep is not ideal. So the more water we can soak up and get rid of, it'll probably dry over time, but to kind of stop it rusting as much as possible, there. What I did was just remove that piece of plastic there and you can see how much sand and dirt actually gets under there. So maybe when you are doing this process about cleaning it all, remove as much plastic and stuff out of the way so you can get into those tight areas. Give it a nice clean event of a vent. Prevent as much rust as possible. Anyway. I find this very relaxing. It's actually really good for your mental health to get things nice and clean and stuff like that. There's a few rocks and stuff in there. Very relaxing. Well, forward driving is relaxing in general. You can already see a little bit of rust. Almost starting to form in the floorboards there. Which uh, probably won't focus. Anyway, I find this really relaxing. So if you guys find this relaxing as well, comment below. Alright, that's pretty much it for today guys, really easy way to clean that inside of your Jeep, prevent as much rust and corrosion as possible, but I also find it really re relaxing getting in there, giving the Jeep a nice clean and detail uh, when we've been out forward driving, it's so relaxing being forward driving, going out forward driving as well, but getting back and giving your Jeep a really nice clean, a lot of people comment on how clean our Jeep is and that looks a lot newer than it actually is, it's a 2010 JK. Um, people were like, wow, really? I thought it was a lot newer. No, it's an old, rockety piece of shit. Nah, it's actually pretty good. It's a good car, but I find it super relaxing. So in the comments, um, let me know what you guys want to be motivated about, and also let me know what relaxes you guys as well. We're going to go and change up the channel a little bit, and hopefully give you guys more motiv motivation to build yourself within the car community, whether it be the four-wheel drive or just hot rods, uh, muscle cars, the JDM, USD and whatever it might be on to give you guys more motivation to get out um, and enjoy our passion and what we love to do. Um, so if you guys got any motivational tips for someone else, please drop in the comment below. Uh, but really easy, straightforward and it's really cheap. Um, and we've been using that Froffa and the Mega Snow on the Jeep for a while now and it's last um, a while. We've been using it for a while and it's lasted a while as well and we've still got probably a lot of washes out of it yet. So that's it for today guys, if you like this video um, and you like the motivation at the start of the video, please hit the like button and subscribe button as well. That will let me know that you guys are liking this content and how we're going to change things up a bit. Hopefully it's giving you guys a bit more motivation um, to build your vehicle how you want it and how you like and it be a part of you um, and what you like. Because um, nobody likes the same thing and if you did, the world would be a fucking boring place to be fair. So that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Stay safe and happy and I'll see you guys next week in the next video.